Kate McShay here, coming to you from my home office in Vancouver, Washington. You probably came across this video either because you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and you're waiting for that connecting video to, um, let me just make sure I'm right, MLM Tips for Success. Uh, we shot it on July 16th, 2013. So it's just a connecting video that builds up upon one of the tips on how are you spending your time building your business. Um, or you're just kind of looking into the differences between active prospecting and passive marketing. So let's just get right down into it. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible and just give you as many details as I can. So passive marketing, what that basically means is that you're throwing your information out there, your opportunity out there, whatever you're trying to get across, and you're hoping that people reach out to you to ask you for more information. Now, this is a great thing to have as a part of your business, and a lot of times you'll hear and you'll see successful people doing this, but just remember that it takes time to build up this stuff, to, um, to research it, learn it, implement it, take action on it, become a master in that area or that skill, and to actually start seeing some results. So these are not bad things at all to do. They're a huge piece of the attraction marketing formula that, that you need, especially if you're working primarily online. But let's just be clear, if you're looking for results quickly, this is not going to give you the results that all of a sudden are going to you know, shoot you up to 10K a month if you've just started out, if you're a newbie or you're someone who's just hopping into the online world or you know whatever. If you're looking for quicker results, passive marketing is not going to be the best place to spend your time. And actually, most people spend their time here. And I'll tell you why, and you can disagree with me, you can comment with, um, you know, underneath this video, but most people are afraid of this part. And this is active prospecting. So the difference between passive marketing and active prospecting is that you're actually making an effort to reach out to, you know, actual people. You're connecting with people. You're building relationships with actual people. You are searching them out. You are following up and connecting with them as opposed to them coming to contact you. And the reason why I say most people are afraid of doing this is because they have that fear of either talking on the phone, approaching somebody in public, um, you know, reaching out and calling um, you know, either someone that they don't know or someone that they do know, and starting to create a relationship so that at, at some point they can just see if they're open to either an extra side income or different ways to you know, make some extra money. But active prospecting is the way that you're going to get your results quicker. So uh, just a couple, there here are a couple of different ways that you can active prospect. Uh, hopefully you can see it. I'm not going to read through all of them. I just wanted to touch on this one really quick. So you see Facebook's on both sides. Well, this Facebook prospecting slash messaging is different than this Facebook. This is like paid advertising. And this one is where you're actively either looking for new friends or people that are kind of interested in the same area of, you know, way of thinking that you are, and you are private messaging them. You are creating a relationship with them before you see if they're open to an extra, you know, side income. So if you have any questions on that or on any of these, any of these terms, just, you know, shoot us an inbox message through our YouTube channel or write a comment below and we'll make sure that we get back to you. Definitely. So really when it comes down to it, you want to spend your time here. You want to spend your time um, active prospecting any way possible, doing as many trainings as you can to just kind of get some information on what, you know, on, on, on ways to strengthen those strategies because I know people are petrified of the phone. I myself was included, but I just trained. And then the most important part here is that it's active. You take action on it. Don't get caught in learning mode. Um, so if you stink at the phone, start dialing. And you will be surprised at how quickly you start to figure out what works and what doesn't work. If you're not super excited about networking and meeting new people, take action. Get in there and start watching and, and introducing yourself. And, and you will. You will notice what works and what doesn't work. That's the whole point here. But you will get way more momentum and, uh, and, and hopefully results from this because it's something you're consistently and actively doing all the time. Whereas, once you're ready, start implementing some passive stuff. But this should not be the only way you're building your business, especially when you first start out. Active prospecting is the way to go. So there is a link to the at the bottom of this uh, in the description, 
and it is connected to our blog. It's got you know a little bit more detailed blog post on this topic as well as other ways um, and other tips to build your MLM business. And if you just feel like this gave you good value, feel free to share it with your friends if you want, or just subscribe to our channel so you can get our updates on the new videos that we upload. So again, this is Kate McShay. I hope that you're doing well. You have a great day, and I hope you come back to visit soon.